now to a small collection of videos going through an introduction to advanced ECR programming in Swix. So we're going to put together a collection of six, seven videos, bite-sized, and going to go through the advanced use of the ECR tool and particularly using Visual Basic to extend the functionality of Swix. And rather than do a load of theory, this is based on a real world requirement from a particular customer who wanted a manual night service switch to switch night service on and off from a handset. Now, the prerequisites for anyone following this course is, well, you're going to need a copy of SQL Management Studio Express. This isn't included on the standard Swix DVD, but is freely available to download from the Microsoft website. The course is all demonstrated on Swixware 2013, although everything that is covered in this course should work on just about any version of Swix. I suggest you get a hold of a decent code editing piece of software. I'm going to be using Notepad++, that's free and available for download on the web. If you've never seen Swix before and have very limited experience of the ECR engine, then I don't think this course is for you. So you really you need to be uh, fully qualified and certified through the Swix authorization and the masterclass training. So the sections of the course, so we've split this up. You've got this introduction and I'll give a very quick demonstration of how the final solution works and how it looks. I'm going to give a quick overview of the ECR script in the next video, show you what the finished result looks like and explain the call flow. Then there's going to be a short video on creating the SQL database that sits behind this using SQL Management Studio Express. And then we're going to get down and do some coding. So we'll cover how to write numbers into databases, how to read numbers from databases. And probably very important is how to add your own traces or your own information into the standard Swix trace logs. And finally, we'll look at error trapping. And rather than use the default Swix error trapping, we will write our own error trap routines. And then we'll look at deploying the script in the real world and possible modifications. And perhaps take some of the ideas generated in this training and using it in different scenarios. So let's get on and have a quick look at the final results. OK, let's look and see how this night service is going to work for us. So I have a night service on and off button down here on the right hand side of my Swixit and I have this test number set up for testing our night service line. So if I press this and it's office hours. Thank you for calling our office during normal working hours. Unfortunately, we are unable to deal with your call personally right now. Please leave us a short message and someone will return your call shortly. And to switch night service on, all I need to do is press this button. Night service is now switched on. And to switch night service off, I just press this button. Night service is now switched off. And that is the basic night service function. And this particular customer wanted a small adjustment made to that. So when the system was in night service, they could divert the call through to another number. Now, this may be an internal number going to voicemail, or it may be an external number. And all this is programmed via switching the night service on. So if we put the night service on and listen. Night service is now switched on. And if I hold on. To change the current night service number, press 1. So now if I press 1. Please enter the new telephone number you wish the call to be diverted to during night service, followed by the hash key. So because this call is going externally, I dial 9 for an outside line and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, hash. 
to change the current mic and the mic service button has been stored in the system. If I need to play it back, to the current mic service number, press two. Press two. Nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. To change the current mic service and number, and it puts me in a loop. One. To listen to the if I need the call to go through to someone's voicemail, I can just do an internal no number. Changes. So if I press 1, please enter the new telephone number you wish the calls to be diverted to during night service, followed by the hash key. To change the current night service number. And it's that simple. And I just hang up and my night service is switched on and off. And that's what we're going to be covering during the training over the next six or seven videos. So, see you in a minute. Since recording the first demonstration, I had this idea. And this is the sort of thing that happens whenever I sit down and start writing code. I finish it and then think, oh, there was a better way of doing that. So we've now got two ways of switching night service on and off. So the idea I had, uh, it was prompted by hovering over, was would it be a good idea if I could hover over the main number and see where the night service is on and off from the status and where the number is routed to. And that's exactly what I've accomplished. So let me show you how it works. So at the moment, as you can see, night service is switched on and the calls are rerouted to an external number. Nine, one, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 blah. And if I want to use this, all I have to do is press the button. <coughs> press zero to switch night service off, or press one to switch night service on. And if I press zero to switch night service off, night service is now switched off. And then if I was to hover over the button, you can see that the status has changed and it says night service is off. And if I want to switch night service on, I press the button. <coughs> press zero to switch night service off or press one to switch night service on. Night service is now switched on. So night service is on. To the same to number. change the current night service so number, if I want to change it, press one. Press one. Please enter the new telephone number you wish the calls to be diverted to during night service, followed by the hash key. So let's put it through to an internal number. Eight two eight hash. To change the current night service number, and hopefully press if I one. hover over it, it to says listen to the current night, night service is off. On press two and it's routed through or to, hang up to make no changes. So I think that's a uh, probably a neater way. This still works the night service on and off buttons, so I can program buttons to switch it on and off. Or if I'm which is great for using on Swix phone, something like the L615, or on Swix it, I can put a button on and then use the messaging. So that's what we're going to be working on over the next six or seven videos. And the next one, I'm going to take you through the call flow. And you'll see the finished ECR engine. And then after that, we're going to start building it for real. So I hope the course is going to be of interest to you. And if you've got any comments or feedback, let me know. Cheers.